Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's math channel. I'm now going to answer the last question, uh, question number 21 from the paper 2 of March, February, March 2020 of the International GCSE um, Cambridge examination. And this question here is about vectors. And it tells us that the vector from x to y is equal to 3a plus 2b. And the vector from z to y is equal to 6a plus 4b. And we have to write down two statements about the relationship between the points x, y, and z. All right, so if you look at these vectors carefully, you can see that z to y, if we see there's a common factor here, all right, there's a common factor of 2. If you take 2 outside, you're left with 3a plus 2b. Okay, so... You could say that z to y is equal to 2 times x to y because x to y is equal to 3a plus 2b. So z to y is 2 times x to y. All right, so let, let's see. So that means that the length from z to y, let me just draw a line. Just, just imagine this is the vector z to y. Let's say this is z and say this is y. This is the vector z to y. Okay, the vector z to y. Now, we can see that this, this, this is twice x to y. And because y and uh, x to y and z to y, they're in the same direction, and they both pass through the point y, that means they must be on the same line because the fact that they are, they are expressed as the same vector means that they're parallel. When two vectors are parallel, you can express them as you know, in terms of the same vector. So I can say z to y is equal to 2 times x to y. That means z to y uh, is in the same direction as it, and it's twice as long as x to y. But if x to y is here, okay, let's say it's half the length. Let me just, that means this is half the length of that. Let me just try to make it look more realistically half the length. Okay, just say that that now is x to y. Now, x to y is half the length of z to y. That means x must be halfway between z and y. Okay? And it means also that x, of course, must be on the, on the same line as z to y. So we could say that they must be on the same line because they are, you can see that they are all, um, they're in the, z to x is in the same direction as, um, sorry, z to y is in the same direction as x to y. They're in the same direction and they pass through the same point. Okay, they must be on the same line, okay, because that we know y is over there, right? So this line must pass through y. So x must be there. So z, x, and y are on the same line. Okay, so you can say that, that you can say they are on the same line, because it's asking about x, y, and z. They are on the same line. Another word for that is collinear. Collinear. Okay, they share, that means they share the same line, collinear. They share the same line. They're on the same line. Okay, and the second thing we can say is, of course, if z to y is twice times x to y, that means x is the midpoint. X is the midpoint of z, y. That's how it relates to the other two points. It's the midpoint of z, of the line z, y. Okay, it's halfway between z, y, z to y. All right? So those are two points that we can or two statements we can derive from the fact that these two vectors are not only parallel, not only in the same, not parallel, not only they, are they in the same direction, okay, which could mean either that, if they're in the same direction, it could mean either they're parallel or they're on the same line. How do we know if they're in the same line? Well, if they pass through the same point, which is y, and they're in the same direction, they must be on the same line. And because z to y is twice as long as x to y, x must be the midpoint of z to y. And so that's basically the two statements that I think that they're looking for here. And um, you're relating the points to each other. So they're on the same line. And x is the midpoint of zy. You're talking about how the points relate to each other. And there's the end of question number 21, which is about vectors. And other questions on this paper can be found in the playlist that should show up over here. Other questions about vectors in IGCSE should show up somewhere down here. You can subscribe to the channel over here. And you'll have a link to the paper uh, for this, this, this uh, particular session. 
up here once I've sorted that out. So thank you for watching. Um, I hope you understood everything fine. If you have any problems or questions you would like to ask, you can put some comments in the comment section. And um, I'll see you again soon.